What's up guys, it's Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install SafeStrap on your AT&T or Verizon Galaxy S5s, and basically this is a how to get a custom recovery on either one of those devices. Let's get started. So for this video, we're actually not going to need a computer, so all you need to have is your phone, and there are some pre-requirements that we kind of need to go over before we get into this installation method. The first thing that does have to be done is you do need to be rooted. So if you guys haven't rooted your S5s yet, or AT&T or Verizon S5s, I'll have a video down below on how to root it. So definitely make sure to do that. Also, if you do have exposed installer installed on your device, you do have to go and uninstall that. So that's very important. Make sure to uninstall exposed installer if you have that. And the last thing you're going to want to have is BusyBox Installer. As you can see, we could find this from the Play Store, really easy to find, and just make sure to install that. And once you've installed that, we're going to go open it up, and we're going to grant super user request, and give it a second to do that. We'll click continue, and then what we have to do is click install, and as you can see, it's going to install. It's asking you to wait a little bit and just let it install. Shouldn't take too long. As you can see there, it says it has successfully installed. Once you've done that, we're done with that. We don't need any more of that stuff. And now we're going to go over and install SafeStrap. So this is actually an APK that you should install. So if you, um, you don't need any file explorer or anything, I'll have the link down below in the description also for you to install the SafeStrap app. And once you've installed it, we're going to click on it. And it's going to ask us for permission to install it. It might say that your installation is blocked, but just go into settings. It'll take you into the settings options and go there and just enable the ability to install unknown sources. Once you've done that, we're just going to click install. And as you can see, the app has installed and we're going to open it up. And it should ask you for super user request. So make sure to grant that. Uh, if it doesn't ask you the first time, of course, you could always just reboot it try again or restart the app we're gonna click agree then and once we've d done that basically what we're gonna do now is there's an easy option that says right there to install the recovery so again make sure to have AT&T or Verizon S5 don't try this on a different S5 as it probably won't end up that well so once you have done everything that I've talked about there is actually one more thing that do does need to be done and you do have to have a external SD card so make sure to have an external SD card that is very important. So you will find out later in the video why you do need an external SD card, but I almost forgot to so make sure you do have to have an external SD card. Again, you could find that online or just go to basically Best Buy, Radio Shack, Target. A lot of stores sell micro SD cards. Once you have that inside and make sure it's working, we're going to go to install recovery. So as you can see, we're going to click Install Recovery, and it says Preparing Installation. Shouldn't take that long. As you can see, it has been granted, and it says Installation Complete. Once we've done that, we're going to go down to Reboot to Recovery, because I want to show you guys how it looks. Ignore that. I don't know why that popped up. So give it a little time. So once we boot into the recovery, this is basically the page that you're going to see. It is based off of twerp. So as you can see, it does kind of look like a themed version of twerp. And there's a couple of new things that we have to go over as this isn't going to be the basic way that you usually install a ROM. So as you can see, if you look at the top, it says something called the ROM slot and it's a stock. So basically, if we go into boot options, we have a bunch of different ROM slots here. And our stock ROM is the one that you do not want to customize at all. So before we talk about the other ROM slots, we're going to want to go into stock ROM. Since we're, it's already currently active, we could go home. And we're going to go to backup. And this is where you want to go and back up to the micro SD card. Make sure to back up to the micro SD card as that is very important. We're going to click OK. And we're going to select data, cache, system, and whatever. We're going to swipe to back up. And this is going to back up all our data to the stock ROM slot. This is very important. So as you can tell, there were other ROM slots, and I'll show you how to create a ROM slot in a couple of minutes. And basically what we do here is 
The stock ROM is kind of like the last resort. You are not going to flash any custom ROMs on the stock ROM slot or anything like that. This is for worst case scenario. This is for when you're running another ROM slot and it completely crashes and bricks itself and your last resort is to go back to the ROM slot, uh, the stock one, and reflash this backup that we're putting on the external SD card. Now I know this is a lot to take in as when I was watching all this stuff it was also a little bit confusing but just follow what I'm doing right now make sure to back up the data to your stock ROM slot and I'll be back when it's done. So now I'm going to quickly show you guys how to actually make a ROM slot. When you first go into the recovery and go into boot options you're going to have an option to choose how much storage you want the specific ROM slot to have. So basically navigate through the three sections and choose which how much data you want for each one. Uh, for cash, I suggest only having 300 and everything else just make sure to go through and choose how much storage you think you'll be using with this specific ROM. So after that you're gonna click create ROM slot and give it a couple of minutes. It could take up to 10 minutes, that's how long it took to me. So don't worry about it, it does take a while as you are using a lot of storage obviously. So once we've actually made a backup or actually our ROM slots when you first opened it up and it gave you that option. If we go back, we now have all these different ROM slots. So for example, ROM slot one, I've already made, I could go set a nickname for it. So we could go here and write custom, excuse my slow typing and I just can't, s <laughs> okay, whatever. So you could go set nickname of course and here we get the option to activate it. So once you click activate and we go back, we now don't have install and wipe in a red option. So this is when custom ROMs come out. We could go to install and install basically any ROM that we want that of course supports our device. We can also go and wipe anything that we want and you have to wipe before you install a ROM. But basically this is all customizable to whatever you want to do with it and you can't really break your device with it. So as you can see, that was one of our ROM slots, and we actually get some more options. We could go to like ROM slot 2, ROM slot 3, and as you can see, we get the option to set as much data and system storage that we want to be used here. So for now, I just have one ROM slot, and whenever you want to go back to the other one, for example, stock ROM, we just go and activate it, and it'll go in red and say that we're in our stock ROM. So one thing I did want to show you guys was the splash screen. So basically let's power off the device and this is in case anything goes wrong if you're on a custom ROM slot and let's say your ROM crashes and you don't know what to do. So you pull the battery, stick it back in and now we're going to go and power on the device. And let's say the ROM isn't booting so we're all panicked. If we didn't have, if we had a different recovery we were basically screwed. And we get this option right here, save strap, and we're going to click recovery and give it some time. I know it takes like a minute or something to boot into that recovery, but that is really awesome. It'll show up no matter what went wrong with your phone and you'll have that option to boot into recovery. And once you've booted into recovery, that's when we go to boot, um, boot ROM and we go back to our stock ROM since we weren't on it technically in this situation. And once we're in our stock ROM, even if all of our internal SD card is messed up, that's why we backed up to our external SD card because now we can go there and reboot into our stock ROM and then go delete that ROM slot that got all, got, that got all, that got all fucked up. So it's a really awesome way to basically keep your phone safe and that's probably why they call it safe strap. Real thumbs up to the developer of this ROM. I'll have his name down below and a way that you could go donate to him. Guys, all the links will be down below. A lot of ROM coverage coming very soon on, <laughs> of course, ROMs for our S5 and any other device that I usually cover. And guys, this was just a quick video on how to install recovery on your AT&T and Verizon S5. Make sure to leave a thumbs up for this video and thanks for watching.